So stir archer is a function that it's the reverse of stircher. So instead of finding the first occurrence of a character and returning a pointer to it, it's gonna find the last occurrence of a character. But because it's a string function, which only takes a char pointer, it's going to call sterlin because it's going to need to find the null terminator somehow. So it's gonna call the sterlin or it's gonna iterate over the whole pointer. And that's kind of inconvenient if you already know the length of the string because it's still gonna call sterlin or, you know, iterate over the whole pointer. And what if it's a really long string and the character is like near the end of the string? Well, for that, we can actually, there's a f another function called uh, source mem archer, which is the same thing, but like other mem functions, we are going to pass the size of the string. So it's actually better, right? Because it probably can at first start from the end of the string rather than iterating over the whole string or calling sterlin every time we call memory or stercher. But the problem is it's not a standard function. It's a GNU or POSIX function. So if we want this function to work everywhere, we're going to have to check. We're gonna check if GNU exists or POSIX or whatever, but uh, if not, then we will need to provide a fallback or even not even define the function at all and like not even have the prototype so people can't use it. But uh, to do that, we can use a macro to check that S or a pre processor directive so uh, we can do hashtag if and the macro that signals if we're using GNU or POSIX I don't really know the POSIX one but if we have GNU we can use this right and I'm gonna make this more okay if not or you know <laughs> Uh, if GNU or or if defined use GNU define POSIX or something what I don't know what what the macro is but if not then we will we'll provide our fallback function which will be mm, slower <laughs> that's for sure because uh, library functions are usually optimized uh, but uh, I instead of stercher which will call sterlin we will start from the end of the string because we already know where the end of the string is but again ideally you would check uh, if it has other standards that supports this function before handwriting your own function because it's gonna be slower and of course it's it can do all sorts of things, so I I, f I forgot, but <laughs> it's it's like uh, if define like and then like check the C version, but it's not C underscore <laughs> eleven, but for example, let's say <laughs> let's say that's a thing, right? And then we're gonna define my static assert uh, expert message. And then static assert expert. And if not, we will just do my static assert, but not actually uh, do anything. And so if we use my static assert, it's not gonna throw an error when uh, the compiler does not support static assert. It's, it's not gonna do anything. So yeah, hopefully that's uh, useful if for uh, whatever reason you haven't uh, seen that before. And then of course, uh, 
there's uh, this which will usually in header files so like uh, and if so uh, what this does is everything inside this file or inside the if uh, directive is going to be defined if the top macro isn't defined right because we if it is not defined we're going to define it and then if you include the file multiple times it's going to only define one time right because the second time you include a file it's going to check if it's defined well it's already defined before right and so uh, you're not defining things uh, twice and so yeah hopefully that's useful